Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Rebecca. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to distress denim, the tools I used, and the techniques I used as well. And stay tuned for the try on. So I like to pick the brand either Levi's or Wrangler. Um, I like to pick those two brands because I know how they fit on my body and I know my size. Um, especially now with the pandemic going on, um, I don't like to try clothes on or touch a lot of clothes at the thrift store. So if I know my size in the jeans, I go ahead and I just grab the jeans and we're good to go. So a tip of mine is I like to pick up jeans that um, are 100% cotton. They don't have to be Wrangler or Levi. They can be any type of jean brand that you like. Um, but I do like them to be 100% cotton because they do distress the best. So once you're done distressing your jeans the way you want to, um, you don't have to do the fringe yourself, the fringe that comes out on the bottom part. Um, you just throw them in the washer and then throw them in the dryer and that does all the work for you. So I like to use stuff that's laying around my house. I don't really feel like it's necessary to go buy new items or new tools to distress the denim. So I'm going to go ahead and be using a pair of scissors, an X-Acto knife, a pencil, a measuring tape and a rotary board or if you don't have a rotary board I just like to use a old cutting board so I picked up these men's Wrangler jeans here I got them at the Goodwill for they were actually 50% off so they were half of $7.99 which is a really good deal um, so we're gonna go ahead and cut these into shorts um, so they are a bit messed up at the bottom here, but that doesn't matter because we're going to cut them into shorts anyway. So if you do come across jeans that are distressed at the bottom already or damaged, don't let that discourage you or scare you because they're going to be cut off anyways. So if you're not sure on how short you want your shorts, um, go ahead and grab a pair that you have already and go ahead and measure them. And that's how you measure them onto the jean and that's how you know how short you want your shorts. So I like to use um, really sharp scissors. So if you do have dull scissors, I would recommend that you take a piece of foil and you just go ahead and you cut the foil like this to sharpen your scissors. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the excess denim that I don't necessarily need. Um, they're gonna be easier to work with. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the excess off. So always make sure to use a pencil because the pencil will wash off. If you use pen, marker, or anything else, um, it won't wash off and you will potentially see the line that you made on your shorts If you have a fabric chalk that will work as well that'll wash off too. So I like specifically for my um, Short length. I like to have it at 13 inches So I'm gonna start at the very top here, and I'm just gonna measure out 13 Oops. 13 and I'm gonna mark here with our pencil So I like for my um, shorts, the crotch of the shorts to be two inches. So I'm gonna start from the inside here and measure out two and a half inches, I'm sorry. Two and a half inches. So we're gonna do mark here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over and I'm gonna start from here and measure out two and a half inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark from here down on this side the same thing so now I have my two guides so when I cut I can cut here and here and then just go like so when you're getting ready to cut your jeans you're gonna want to make sure that you cut your jeans at an angle so not straight across but you're gonna want to cut them at an angle like this so you're gonna go ahead and fold your jean like this and you're just gonna mark at it just like that so now we're gonna go ahead and make our line here. Um, you can go ahead and get your cutting board, your rotary board, or whatever hard surface that you need to make your straight line. Um, we're just gonna use our points here as a reference. We're not gonna follow the points because then it's gonna go crooked. We're just gonna use them as a reference. So now that we have drawn our lines on every single side of the jeans, we're going to go ahead and start cutting. So I'm going to go ahead and start, I'm not going to um, fold it like this and cut like this because that's your jeans will just get um, uneven. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do 
one leg at a time. So I'm gonna start like this, and I'm gonna cut here up into my line, and then I'm gonna go ahead and turn my scissors and follow my line, my guide. I'm gonna come back to this piece, and then I'm just gonna follow my guide over here as best as you can. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect just because when you wash them, the fringe is going to um, going to cover that uneven line or that crooked line if you do have one or make one. So done. I'm just gonna go back here and finish this guy up. I think I'm gonna use my pencil for this. I'm gonna start here. It's gonna be quite big. I want these to be a little bit dramatic. And there. And there. And there. And that should be good. So I'm going to start here, punch my hole, and then go ahead and start cutting your line. You want to be make sure that you have your pocket out, your pocket liner. Okay. I'll do the same. I'm going to do the same to all one, two, three, four, five lines should have something like this. Now I just want to give um, a tip really quick. So I'm not going to go um, too far to the edge of these shorts just because for example like this here I don't want it to end up blending like this. The more you wash the more that you're going to get a fringed out look like this one here and then for example like this one as well the more you wash and the more you dry the more they fringe out the shorter they get so i know that these are going to be big it's probably going to show pocket once it's dried and washed once it's washed and dried so i'm going to do just a couple here so just random just random cuts that's good just two there and i'll probably do one up here here. So I'm going to also do this freehand. I'm just going to go ahead and do, we'll do three. Perfect. And then I'll do, we have this one here, this one here, and I'm going to do one here. I'm just going to scratch. I necessarily don't want line through it. So I decided that I'm also going to kind of match up this side with this side. So I'm just going to freehand it. Make sure your pocket lining is out. Not too big, um, but also not too small. A good medium. Like that. Watch your fingers. Always watch your fingers. That should be good. Maybe one little one down here. Cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the corner of my cutting board. I'm gonna place it in my pocket, my back pocket. And I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm not gonna do an outline this time. I'm just gonna do one freehand. So I'm just gonna make my hole and just make my line here. I'm gonna kinda do this one a little longer because I do like how the destruction looks on the back pockets. And they should look like this. All right guys, so at this point we're pretty much done. There you have them. So now I'm gonna go ahead and throw them in the wash and dryer. 
All right, guys, and these are how our shorts came out. They're super cute. This is how they look after they're washed and dried. I can't wait to try them on for you. Go ahead and like and subscribe. Go ahead and leave a blue heart emoji if you enjoyed this video. Follow me on Instagram, and I can't wait to try these on for you and style them. Bye!